Hey everybody, welcome to Kevin's Garage. Today we're going to be unboxing and reviewing in depth this pressure washer from Amazon. Now before we get started, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Alright, let's get into it. Now before we get started, I want to let you know that I am not sponsored by the manufacturer. I purchased this with my own money after about two hours of research at Lowe's, Home Depot, Harbor Freight, and Amazon. I found that this product had the best specs for the price, and the reviews were pretty good for it too. Now if you like this pressure washer and want to help support my channel, I'll have a link for this in the description below. That link is an affiliate link, so when you purchase through it, I get a small kickback that helps me grow my channel. Alright, back to the video. So let's go over the contents. Here we have the main pump housing, detergent bottle, hose reel and housing, hose reel connector, power cord holders, hose adapter, five nozzles plus holder, the wand, the spray gun, some tools, fasteners, and the manual. Now that it's all unboxed, let's take a moment to RTFM. All right, now that we know what we're doing, let's assemble this thing. Assembly was really easy and took me about five minutes. Let's take a look at the specs of this unit. So they advertise this at 3800 PSI max, 2.8 gallon per minute max, with an 1800 watt motor. Also comes with five nozzles, states that it's not for water over 104 degrees. Taking a closer look at it, here's the unit label. It says the working is 3000 PSI and 2.2 gallons per minute. I measured the power cord at an awesome 33 feet, but the high pressure hose was a little short at 20 feet. Now as for first impressions of the unit before turning it on, I'm a little disappointed with the plastic wrap on the handle, with many of the pre-assembled parts installed over the wrap, making it very difficult to remove all of it. This wrap also did little to protect the metal underneath. The stickers are also poorly applied with many bubbles and peeling. Okay, time to put this thing to the test. Wow, right off the bat, only 1550 PSI max. That's not even half of what they advertise this to be. First off, the red nozzle, 0 degrees, 1100 PSI operating, drawing about 1275 watts and 96 decibels loud. Second is the yellow nozzle, 15 degrees, 1100 PSI, 1254 watts and 84.5 decibels. With the green nozzle is 25 degrees, 1100 PSI, 1280 watts, and 86 decibels. The white nozzle is 40 degrees, 1100 PSI, 1256 watts, and 86 decibels. The black soap nozzle is 40 degrees, very low PSI, 790 watts, and 82 decibels. Now to test gallons per minute, I start at 10 seconds and end at 1 minute and 10 seconds. No nozzle resulted in 1.6 gallons per minute. The soap bottle only works with low pressure nozzles. Even with the tube stuffed all the way in, about an inch of fluid doesn't get picked up from the bottle. So after putting this thing through its paces, the advertising on Amazon is straight up wrong. It states that it's supposed to be 3800 PSI, which is really powerful, which really got me excited for this electric pressure washer, but in reality it's only about 1100. The other main spec for this pressure washer that I was excited about was a 2.8 gallon per minute flow, and in reality it's about 1.5. So both of these specs, like the two main specs for pressure washers, are just completely wrong. So the advertised specs being wrong kind of has me worked up, but in reality, this isn't a bad pressure washer. If you're looking to pressure wash a boat, RV, car, the side of your house, and even a patio, it's great. I wasn't able to test this unit with a surface cleaner, but I'd imagine an 8 to 10 inch one would be perfect. I'd definitely stay away from the larger 15 to 20 inch ones, because I don't think this thing makes enough power to support that. I was hoping for the most powerful electric pressure washer on Amazon, but this one's definitely not it. Now don't get me wrong, like I said, it's still a good pressure washer, so it'll still be good use for me. 
And that wraps up this episode of Kevin's Garage. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you later.